Welcome, welcome, welcome to Chess Massive. It's a 4244. There's twos and fours in today's episode number. Today we're going to play another chess variant because that's all we really do these days. This one's called Alphabet Chess. It has to do with the fact that the columns on a chessboard, they're files, but lay people call them columns, have letters next to them like the A files where your rook starts and the B files where your knight starts, the C files where your bishop starts. If you set up the board correctly, I have met people who swap the knight and bishop because they're dumb. And then the D file is where the queen starts. By the way, queen always starts on D file. You can remember that because queen and D are both words, except for D. So let's go play with a friend and try this out. I haven't told you the rules yet, but who cares? So maybe I should tell you the rules. It'd be great if we both played by the rules. So here's the rules. Let me get my game here, notepad.exe. This is such a fun game. Comes with Windows. You can open it up anytime. What I like to do is go shopping in computer stores and play that game on the computers. It's really fun. Um, here's the rules. You must your moves using pieces or pawns. You must make your moves using pieces or pawns from each successive file unless you are in check. Then skip it. Then skip it, okay? It's a little complex because I am a complex creature. Also, if you don't follow the rules exactly, you uh, have a forced checkmate. So this is an A file here. So Thank you, thank you. Yes, that's an A file. And now over here, this is a B file. How you following? This is making sense so far. Okay, so this is a C file. Okay, I hope Andrelis is watching the stream right now so he can kind of get the verbal explanation of this of this variant. So the second move I make has to be one of these two things. The third move has to be one of these two things. The fourth, one of these two things, and so on. But if you're in check, you can make any move because otherwise there's like this opening where you just lose. And then you skip the file. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm, I mean, move on to the next file on your next move. So that we're still in sync, you know what I mean? Let's move the knight this direction so that I can move it again. It's going to be a powerhouse knight. It's going to be so good. What should I take with it? Because I can move here, and then I can move here. <laughs> okay, he, his queen would take. So that wouldn't work. Um, but let's try this how it goes, see how it goes, you know what I mean? So now I'm moving something to the C file. What if new moves are on that file? Then you lose. Oh yeah, by the way, that's another way you can lose. You don't have anything on that file. Nope, that's not true actually. Um, wait, that's not true. Good thing I can type super quickly as opposed to super fast. And the real rule is if nothing of yours is on that file, you can make any move. But if you have something that can't move, you lose. Does that make sense to the viewer? I'm trying to like build a scientific approximation of the universe using the rules of chess. And so there's going to be some leaks, if you know what I mean. Every now and then, quantum physics comes in and turns you into a potato, but that's relatively rare. Mostly we're able to play chess. So last move was the D... Wait, wait. Oh, it's my turn. So now we're on the E file. Okay, so let's just like move this. He proposes a take back. Oops, I cheated already. No, that was okay. Let's let's take a look at the game. A, A, B, B, C, C, O, O. You're right. You move D instead of C. Lol. Okay, let's give him one more take back and try to move C. The alphabet is very difficult. I was reading through the quotes, uh, the quotes from the quotes internet about what quote to put on my quote page. If you haven't seen the quote page, by the way, you can rewind the video to the beginning and you can read the quote on the video and then you can say, hey, I'm already at the beginning. Why don't I just close this and eat something? So that's also a possibility. Let's go to the D file now. D. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, and then the E file. Because, you know, I didn't really like the idea of taking something since this queen will move next and just om nom me. So I was looking through the quotes, and one of the options for the quotes was I didn't learn the alphabet until I was age 11. And that was the entire quote. Like, oh, yeah, that's a very inspiring quote. I'm so glad I read that. Not so much. So what's interesting here is he's going to get to move his B before I get... Oh, I get to B, but then he's going to move B, and he's going to take the... That's depressing. Hmm. F file. That's F file. Should I check him? Probably not. Let's go here. Hmm. I don't know the strategy yet, but I think it's something about moving your chess pieces around. Unfortunately... Unfortunately. Okay, so now the knight. Let's just do this. Why not? I think maybe I want to get like one thing on each file, you know, because then you can move a useful thing every turn. 
because it might end up kind of stupid. Okay, so he's going to take this, and then it's going to be my turn in this file, which I could take this. Okay, so that's good. Then it's going to be, oh, I can't think. I'm out of time. I'll just castle with my ruck. Oh, I have to move this. <laughs> oh, that's how you're going to win this game, actually. It was occurring to me because sometimes thoughts occur to me. Couldn't you just take the K when you play D4? Couldn't you play Knight takes B4? Oh, yeah, I could have done that. Should have done that. There's someone in the chat who's smarter than me. Very strange. I think there's probably some cheating going on. I have to move this instead. I was going to castle. I think that would count as the rook move, but we're back to the start, and it has to be a rook. So I need to keep this rook on this file. I thought the way you would win this variant was by checkmating the opponent. What kind of an idiot thinks that? Well, I thought that, but actually, the way you win this variant is by making them have something on a file that can't move, and they lose, right? So if I played rook b1, the next time A came around, which comes around constantly. Oh, no. Oh, I'm in check, so I can make any move. La! That was great. I was in check. Colon D. Oh, Danner, he says, which is um, slang. It it means something different, but Danner is the closest we're going to get. Hmm. This calls for an ear rub. C file. C file. Now I'm on the D file, so let's take this with check. Oh, he's checked. He can do anything. I made the same mistake he did. Don't check your opponent. That's just dumb. We're on to E after this. No C, right? No C. Right. We skipped C. So we got that. Okay, so I've just moved in this file, so now we're on E. Let's just punch him in the face, because he might be kind of stymied by this. He is going to move D before I move E. That's awful, so maybe this won't work at all. But hey, hey, on the bright side, I can, I'm going to win. On the bright side, I'm going to win. Look at this. <laughs> um, I'm on the F, so I'll just like blunder my knight. Oh, what a bad move, Jesuits. I'm about to win. If he doesn't move something to this file, then when A comes around, this is how you win this chess variant. Oh, let's give him time so he can lose a different way. When... Mm, I don't care. It's G time. Peanut butter G time. If when A comes around, he'll have nothing he can move except this pawn, which he can't move. That makes you forfeit. So he's going to forfeit this game, and then that's going to be pretty funny for me. And mildly annoying for him. Hopefully, he's not going to murder anybody, but... <gasps> okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. Hold on. I, I thought for a moment he could take my rook and cause me the same pain, but no. No, that would be cheating. He has to move something over here. So now I go here, and you lose Ruffle. This calls for ruffle. I type LOL whenever I'm sending lots of love because that's what LOL stands for. Nope, nope, you lose. Uh, this is a rated game, which is maybe a mistake. Oh, I'm out of time. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> How did that work? Uh, mm, you lose. So what, let's make sure I communicated the rules clearly to him because I'm a gentleman. I wouldn't just like make him lose when it's not appropriate to do so, which is never... Let's see what it says. What if no moves on that file? Then you lose. Wait, that's not true. The next file, if nothing of yours is on that file, you can make any move. But if you have something that can't move, you lose. So you have a pawn on this file that can't move, so you lose. Was that confusing enough? I confused him into losing. Perhaps better is to move to the next file. No. I'm going to go ahead and resign because this guy values his rating points. And I don't. <laughs> the reason I don't is because I do this crazy stuff on this website. So why would my rating mean anything? I'm actually way over 2,000 strength. I'm like 2,001 strength. Very, very high. But my, my rating's down here because I do this stupid stuff. So let's uh, find a new opponent. Maybe this guy. Let's rematch this guy. Let's see what happens here. No, you actually lose. That's because it's too hard to win. So we could try the different variant, but I want to try this way one more time. So the, the question is, if you've got a pawn there, which is pretty typical because you have pawns everywhere, then what happens when you can't move anything in that file? Should you skip it? I think you do not. I mean, it's a very, very serious problem if you skip things because you'll lose track of what's going on. The one player, let's call him white just because we're um, white, and except, not, except for in the game. And uh, he, he skips a file. Now he's on, like, D, for example. And the other guy, he didn't skip a file because he's no file skipper. And so he has a different problem. He stays on that file. Pretty soon they're not in synchronization. You like that word? Synchronicity. They're not in it. And so then you're like, I can't track this. It's two numbers. I can't track two numbers, man. What's your job? It's very difficult. So we're not going to make a variant that way. So is he cheating already? Yes. 
It's his third move, so it's about time to cheat, I think. He moved the A file, he moved the B file, and now he's on C, C lol. So let's try that. What about the check? Move to next file. I'll restate this, because I'm a friendly guy. Let's, uh, I have to move the knight. <laughs> it's kind of dumb. This is kind of dumb, and I'd better move here. Brilliant, brilliant move. Okay, because the whole, if you are in check, you move anything and skip the file. If you are not in check and you have nothing on the file, you can move anything. If you have something on the file but can't move anything on the file, you lose, okay? And the rules are specifically designed this way because otherwise this is the problem. Are you ready? D time. It's D time. Otherwise, the game goes forever. Because how are you going to checkmate a guy when you're like, help, I gotta move over, oh, I gotta move over here, oh, I can't move, oh, sorry, I can't move anything in this area right now, or now, or now, or now. Okay, I can move something, okay, I'm done, I'll, I'll see you later. You know, you're just not going to checkmate a guy who, as soon as you check him, he can do anything. I mean, he gets, yeah, so, what was it, E time, it's E time right now. I think that was a terrible mistake you just made. I'm going to do some terrible, terrible damage here. Terrible. Terrible damage. It's F time. Take this. Uh, it's kind of dumb. Where do I go? I think, am I going to be able to just take this though? That's what I want to do. I do, I do, I do. I do love you. That's the song of the day. He's going to get to D first. No, I'm D after he's D. I should have thought of that yesterday. H time. Okay, I'll go, I'll go here. Let's make H a problem. So you actually want to keep a piece on every file, right? Oh, I'm going to destroy his piece on that file. And then he's going to be not so peaceful. <laughs> Get it? Not so peaceful. So it's C time. On C time, I'm just going to take his knight. Whatever that is. I guess maybe it's not a knight. Is that a knight? I don't care. And then on A time, next time for him time, he lose time. This is going to be great. This is designed to be harsh. I can agree with that. I have to move something on B, so I'll move this one square. I need to get something on B. If you don't have something on every file, you're just going to dial. That, that rhymes. It doesn't make any sense, but it rhymes, and that's what's important. He's moving something on uh, C, so that's the fiend kettle. Now he has not much on C, so it's now my C time, and I'm going to go here oh genius chess whiz what kind of brilliancy is coming out of your ears right now or mouth whatever good because he has to not move this right because he was in check and now i'm d time and i'm bam time just destroying this guy just destroying this good thing i don't need bad words or i'd be calling him those words right now he is getting owned i just captured a knight and all i had to do was give up a bishop man what a trade oh wait those are the same here's some more time ends chovas So I got I got my files covered. Every file has a thing on it. Knight B3 was mate, right? Knight B3 was mate? What? What is he saying? Okay, he's talking to me. Hold on, I have to pay attention to people outside my own head. This is very stressful. Yes, but after the check, Knight B3 was mate. I can't play Knight B3. Here's some more time. B3 is here. <laughs> What kind of knight B3 is going to mate? Man, you don't know how to mate. Mm, no pun intended. So now is it C or D for you? You had to skip D, so you're E. E now. You had to skip D because you were in check. So the rule is designed to keep the files in synchronicity, in synchronization, in synchronicity, because otherwise you can't keep track of nothing. Oh, I lose. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> because... It's hard to keep track if the two players are doing disconnected things. So that's what it's all about. E, E, F, F, G, G. You can't go out of sync or you're sunk. You got that? It's pretty catchy. We've got someone in the chat. He's typing some letters and I read them. It's F time. I'll just take this. <laughs> oh, no, it's check. Never mind. That was one of my dumber moves. But hold on. I have a smarter move coming. G, I have to move this. Okay, I don't feel super smart right now. But hey. I'm second smartest in this chess game, so that's pretty good. I'll move the rook here, otherwise I lose. Man, this is stressful. Keep a thing on every file. That's the rule. He just moved A, so I need to move A. 
Oh no, he's gonna take my queen. That's disappointing to me. But look, I can take this bishop. Okay, it's B time. Mm. <laughs> this is kind of complexicated right now. Man, are you starting to see the depth of this game? I'm not, because I'm just blabbing all the time. Okay, it's now C time. Oh, never mind. It's B time. I have to play here. C time, everybody! <laughs> I can keep track of this. I just have to keep shouting out what time it is. So if only I could check him, then I could use the same trick as before, except this time not lose my queen. But no can do. So let's... Uh, let's. Oh, he added me time right when I was blundering. That's awkward. Okay, it's now D time, and I have nothing on the D file, so I can move anything! Fantastico. Um... Oh, he's going to lose on the e-file. No, he's going to play here. I have to distract him somehow. You see this? This is so deep. This is like a deep place of depth. Um, D, I can move anything. I'm going to go here. I think that would be potent. That would be a potent move right there. He's saying darn again. This is how stressful this is. He's splurting expletives. Let's give him some time as well. Wow. We've almost figured out how to play this game legally. So he has to move something from D. And if he doesn't watch out, his E will be death because he has a pawn. He can't move it. Am I going to have that problem anywhere? I'm good here. Oh. Ooh, I just had a brilliant idea. Maybe you're having the same idea right now. All you need is a rook. Or maybe even just a king. And you can just not lose this game. Because look, you're just like, oh, A file? Got that move done. Oh, B file. No problem, man. I moved my B file thing. Oh, he's talking to me again. Hold on. I'm me now. What happened? Oh, he's already moved on the D file. Well, I'm kind of an idiot. But I'm a winning idiot. Because look at this. D file? He's on E. You are on E, so you lose. I have to send him a raffle again. Although I do feel somewhat compassionate, which is very rare for me. My personality does not care about other people. But right now, I'm feeling bad for him because he just lost the game. And I know what that's like since I do it constantly. No, my move was legal. No, he says it was illegal, but it was totally legal because I, I have nothing on the D file. If you have nothing on that file, you can skip it. But your... Your blocked pawn is your own doom. Doom, which is a mountain of bad things. Let's see. What's happening in the main Twitch chat right now? Let's turn on this chat so you guys have something to look at. I just click the button that says chat. Oh, there it is. What's going on? He used to stream three times a week. What if there are no moves on that file? Jovis, you cheater. Yeah, he could have. So harsh rules. It's designed to be harsh. What a strange variant. I think he's talking about me. Nice tactic. He's on E, so he loses doob. And then Bob President is like, this is my moment. This is my moment. Vote for me. I'm the president. Or I want to be. But actually what happened to Bob President is I asked him, so like, what are you the president of, Bob? I'm afraid to play this pure person, Piet. So I'm going to decline that because I don't think he'll want to play these weird rules. So, so I'm going to uh, put a challenge in the chat. Who wants to try this extremely difficult chess variant where you randomly lose in the middle of the game? Because I want to try it again. And Bob said, I'm the president of notifications, which kind of makes sense because I clicked the button that says uh, stop. Sorry, it says start streaming. And what happened? What happened? As soon as I clicked that button, Bob president was in my chat. Now, how do you think he did that? How did he appear in my chat so quickly? He's the president of notifications. It kind of suggests itself. The answer is quite clear. Okay, so we're, we have a much more normal looking game. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The troll on the roll is now following me on Twitch, according to my watch. This is stressful. I hate it when people follow me, because I just don't know if they're carrying a knife. G time. Oh, it's G time. This calls for a move on the G. And now it's H time. So this guy's got a different technique, something about pawns, I think. I'm going to just think and then let him move some more. So this is very different. Very, very more rational and sane. You know what? This actually looks more like you don't randomly lose in the middle of a game. What an interesting kind of variant. Uh, my knight can move right now, so I'll just go right here. Hmm. I'm starting to come up with some plans, Stan. This is great. Oh, B time's going to be a little harsh. Oh, C time's going to be... Oh, this, this is a tough variant. I mean, if you're thinking ahead two moves, you're getting stressed in this variant because you've got a lot of obligations. This is like 
parenting because there's yeah never mind you can tell why that is i don't have to explain this you've got to parent every file be like are you okay are you killing yourself right now that's what kids tend to do don't kill yourself that's my number one rule when i'm watching kids they don't follow it but i try to enforce it when possible d time it's d time right now okay so i think i'm gonna get some kind of a destruction of him in this area it's pretty good D, D, I gotta move something D. What if I take? Yes, capture something. Brilliant idea. If he checks me, what a, what a blunder. Because then I can move anything, uh, which would be like block the check, because otherwise I'm just dead. Huh. He's on E. This is, this is amazing. This guy, like, he has a plan. He's executing his plan, unlike our last opponent. I'm stressed out. This is, this is tough. Didn't you cheat with Bishop F5? Says a, a guy. Let's take a look. Oh, I did. We're going to have to let that slide. I didn't move from the F file. I moved to the F file. In certain life activities, it's very important to get your sources and your destinations accurate. And alphabet chess is one of those. So, sorry. We're going to have to just leave that in the game because it's too far back. E file now. It's E file time. Should I push this pawn? No, that would be dumb. But hey, hey, maybe I should. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is great. Watch what happens. My cheating bishop is going to assist in the attack. Or maybe it'll just get captured. One of those things is going to happen. I'm hoping he takes me here with his F move so that I can F him with this move. Otherwise, my whole position has no forward momentum. We'll see what happens. The troll on the roll is in the chat, and he's following me. This is creepy. He says, I'm still loving you, and he's kind of singing. It's hard to see the singing in the chat, but I can tell he's singing. F. He didn't do that, so now I'm on F, and I'd better save the bishop. So is there any area where I'd better do a thing? Oh, let's do this. Oh, now I've got a thing for the bishop to do. Oh, this isn't there. Oh, this is really good. Think about it. He's on C, then I'm on C, and I can just take that. He's on G now, and he's... Oh, he's here some time, Heroku. This is just a difficult chess variant to play. There's no doubt about it. G time, I gotta move a G. Let's G right up here. We're on H now. We're on H. Let's do some H. I'm gonna need G things. No, I should get everything off G because that gives you a superpower. Remember like last game where I just won? Yes, that's the idea. Because if there's nothing on G of yours and it's time for G, what? Oh, this guy is so advanced. I take this probably. It's a capture, so that must mean it's good. So now it's B. Oh, he's coming up with this alphabet strat where you just... Oh, I'm doing the same thing. Yeah, don't run out of time, Heroku. Where you just, like, you can move and move and move and move. B time. Because now it's C time. Because if you just go to the next file, you can move that piece again. You can move the same piece eight times. You'd be like, oh, nom, 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 and capture everything. Look, he's doing it. No. Ah, my time. Oh, I'm cheated. I cheated. I need time back. I have to move something on the C file. Take back accepted. There we go. I need to lose this pawn and not get it blocked. You see where I'm going with that? D. He's moving D now. He's going to move his queen again. This is so bad for me. But then I, my queen's guarding everything, so we're okay here. This is so interesting. I'm going to give him some time to, to, to like think about this because like there's some things to think about here. This is oh, D, 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 D. I'll just take that. Mm, thanks. Never mind. Nothing to think about now. He wants to take back because he's a stupid idiot, which is different than cheating. Usually we take moves back because we're not playing by the rules. But every now and then we... We make stupid idiot moves, and we take some of those back. What? He moved his D, I moved my D, and his queen is gone. And now he's like, no, you can't. No, you're on E. You are on E. Give me time. Give me time. I'm not going to run out of time against it. Whoa, what <laughs> just happened? Okay, that was interesting. I don't trust my computer anymore. You are on E. I need to move faster, because I don't know if this guy knows how to give time. I'm kind of stressed out, but his queen is gone. There's no predicting what he's going to do. This is true of people with no money also. You're like, are you going to kill me right now? I have no idea because they have nothing to lose. That might be an overgeneralization, but generally speaking, people with no money kill you. 
just, you know, if you're going to generalize, I'm not saying everybody does it, okay? Oh, it's E time. I guess I need to take this. Ho <laughs> ho. And now it's F time. And he has nothing on F. What was I thinking? No, he can move anything now. So let's give him a bunch of time to consider that. You can move you. Let's type this with words. You can move anything now because you have nothing on F. First time I've ever told that to anyone. You know what? You have nothing on F. You have nothing on F. How? How do you have nothing on F? But he did. Okay, it's my F time, so let's take this. This is a powerhouse. Look at this madness. I just take things constantly. Yeah, this alphabet chess is next level. This is next level chess variant. I mean, last variant, what do we play? Quadrant chess? Last episode? Don't even watch it. Just watch this episode twice. So much better. <laughs> did you see what I did? Well, I did, and that made me feel good. He's going to move the pawn. No, he's already. Wait, what did he do? Oh, I have H to go here. I have to move H. Well, that's no problem. I'll just take the, Oh, no, I'll check him. Now he can move anything. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Am I good on all the files? I think I'm good on all the files. So here, let me just restate the rules for those of you who are confused, which is almost everyone. If you have nothing on the file, you can move anything. But if you have a pawn on the file that can't move, then you lose because I just made up the rules. Actually, by the way, this variant was not made up by me. I am not enough of a genius to invent this variant. It was invented by Taquas Seabass, who's currently in the chat chortling right now. <clears throat> He's chortling about how crazy this variant is. I'm throwing away my rook. Because I have an extra queen who needs a rook. Actually, he's just going to take me, right? So why would I... Uh, did I cheat? H file? No, this is okay. A file? This is legal. Add him time here. I moved H. Now I'm on A. I never knew the alphabet was so difficult, but I'll decline that. But it's definitely true. Keeping track of the alphabet is hard to do while you're playing chess. And... Not only that, it's B time. Not only that, but I am attempting to be the funniest person on the planet right now while doing all of this. So you can imagine it's very difficult. And the net result is that you um, are just not being funny, which is too bad. But hey, I mean, something has to give, right? Are you going to win at chess or are people actually going to enjoy watching your show? Hmm. Let's go with winning. So yeah, it's a trade off. D time. It's D time. If what's weird about this is that it's D time for me now. Uh, what's oh, like I better go here because that's my only C thing, right? It's E time. <clears throat> I got a king. Let's get everything off of E. Then I'm gonna have some super abilities here coming up here because I have nothing here. I'm gonna get nothing here. I have to move my king. Actually, I can only move it to here where I already have nothing, so uh, that's not as cool as I thought. Okay, it's F time for him, and he can move anything. Oh man. This is getting like middle gamey or even end gamey. This variant changes completely because every now and then you can move anything. You just feel like Superman. Watch out, guys. I can move any of my chess pieces. No, don't move any of your chess pieces. That's too powerful. F time. Check. I'll just check him. Because admit it, he's on F. Wait. He's on G right now. And he has nothing on G. So he can just move anything. I'm on G. So I have to move this. I'm so confused. Is that right? Um, e, F, G. He's on H. He has to move one of these. <laughs> it's very helpful to keep things in sync. Now you can see why I made the rules so funky so that the players aren't on different files at different times. Like, I'm on G. No, you're on G. No, I'm on H. No, no, no. It's very helpful to be like, okay, so white is on this. That means that black will definitely be on that same thing on his move. Otherwise, we would just lose track completely. Kind of like we're doing in the real world right now. I mean, look around you. Are you sitting in an empty room looking at a digital device? Sounds to me like losing track completely. Or maybe you're like in school, like the teacher's talking about this algebra stuff, which doesn't matter. And you're like, oh, Chester's TV is way better than algebra. I don't think you can get away with that. But in some schools, you can. In some schools, you could definitely watch Chester's TV during class. It's H time. I'll take this. He's adding me time. That's perfect. Okay, so it's becoming chess, actually. Didn't expect this to happen. 
but it's becoming chess, and I have a ton of things on the board. That's going to help out significantly. He's out of time. I feel a little bad about that, but let's be honest. I have a queen, a rook, a knight, a bishop, and four pawns against his, like, he has, like, a knight. That's all he has. So he was doomed as long as I didn't cheat, which I guess I was about to cheat probably. But GG, that was, uh, that was very <coughs> revealing. That was a very revealing playthrough of this variant. I have a challenge from Daniel. Let's see what it is. It looks like chess. Do you want to try the variant? Do you want to try the variant? Do you want your brain to explode? I used to just take challenges from people and be like, okay, let's play. I make my move and then I just realize that, oh, they're not playing where if you capture five pawns, your bishop becomes a super bishop. They're just playing chess. And then I, you know, get myself into a kind of a bad situation. So it's always better to ask first. So he says, yes, yeah, so let's try it. Xout says his mind is blown, but I obviously I've said so many mind blowing things in the last minute. Okay. <laughs> is this guy a comedian or what? He comes into my show. He's like, watch this guys. You want to see funny E4 after saying he wants to try the variant. So I'm going to abort Daniel. He's already been born, so he won't mind. And let's put a challenge in the chat instead. I think we have time for one more. Let's see who's going to play this one. So this variant, very difficult to play well, very difficult to play badly. If you've noticed, it's actually just very difficult to make legal moves in this variant, but it's actually got a lot of depth to it. It's kind of like a swimming pool that you're drowning in. It's very deep, so that's pretty good. Dr. Dopez is up. He's playing A4, so I'm just going to trust that he... I can't type in this box. See this? I can, help! It doesn't come out. Hmm... Good luck. Go to luck and then pace. There we go. Lichess has this feature that says you can't talk if you're saying the same thing constantly, which really is a problem for me because I constantly say the same thing constantly. And so it's always blocking me. It's D time. Wait. I cheated. Wait. We got to go back. I moved two Bs and I needed to move not two Bs. That was the question. Um, take back sent. Dr. Dopez, I cheated. Did you see that B move? Whoa, what's happening? Oh, man, the co computers are not my thing. Actually, computers are my thing. This is my computer. This computer is my thing. So never mind what I just said. It's C time. How did I How did I move B? No, this is good. This is good. Hold still. I'll move there. Why not? How that could be. It's D time. D time. We're going to move D right now. Uh, should I just throw the ball there? I'm going to just go one square because I don't feel like being an idiot right now. Oh, guys, it's E time. Hold on. Okay, that was a pretty good move. You got to admit, E5, only the best players and the worst players and everybody in between play E5 because it's so good. Mm, it's F time. Let's go here. Let's go with the G right now. You guys got to try this variant. If you're watching right now and you're like, I don't want to join this because Chess Wiz is going to raffle stomp me. That's true. So what you should do is play with your friends instead. Uh-oh. Oh, you move the knight. Oh, 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 look at that. A free pawn. This game is so easy. This game is so hard. It's kind of like I have been in the past. Look at this. Okay, queen takes knight. Oh, no, the bishop's guarding it. But you haven't considered the nuances of alphabet chess. Like, after taking the knight, white could later play f5, two moves later, and protect his queen amazing tactics that we're not even aware of because we're paying no attention. B. It's B time right now. Thanks for the night, pal. Now it's C time. Mm. I can't wait till E time because I'm going to check him. Wait, but checks aren't very smart because he can move anything. This variant is the best. We've played so many bad variants on this show. I'm so glad we're playing alphabet chess right now. Thank you so much for... Whoops, don't cheat. It's C time right now. Okay, let's move C. Um, bishop. That's how that, that calls for this bishop moving right now. That's what I think. Let's do the bishop right here. Ooh, I don't want to move the bishop. I want to move this because if I move the bishop, then next time C comes around, that could be my only pawn. Instant loss. Amazing. Thank you, Quas Seabass, for suggesting this variant. And for those of you who are saying, "Wow, I want to see more Chesser TV," there's plenty of episodes on YouTube. This is episode. Ooh, he's doing it. Um, we're on D right now. Let's go here. Now it's E. 
I want to win somehow with this thing. What is he going to He has to move his king. Hopefully he moves it off of E and then just blunders. Dr. Dope can't move his pawn. He loses. There's plenty of chess whiz on YouTube. Oh, he's doing it. Next turn, he'll just resign. Uh, next time around, E. E, 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 E. Our castle. Oh, that might have been risky. <laughs> Keeping it interesting, folks. Never mind. I'm not that old. You're not folks. You're like people. No, you're gents. No, that's not right. You guys are dudes. No, that's still too old. Isn't dudes like from the 80s? I don't know what to call you. Viewership. We're doing some risky things here. <clears throat> We're on the F. How often do you say that? That's the move. <laughs> I stymied him with my stymier. Look at that. Because he could have pushed that pawn, but not if it's blocked. Is he cheating? No, he's on G. Oh, I'm losing track. I'm running out of time. G. Okay, I move G. Now I'm on H. Oh, this is too much. Too stressful. H time. We're on A next. He has everything off of B. How did he do that? Oh, oh, this guy's super smart. Nope, that's not right. We got confused here, Dr. Dopez. Let's give you some time and, and count back here. So it was F, G, G, H. So you cheated with knight, knight, knight. The knight move was a cheat. Oh, no, don't run me out of time. Take back, please. Um, because you're not supposed to play knight f3. Knight f3 was, was cheat. Chat, whatever it is, keat, whatever we are. Here we go. You were on H. Okay, H. It's short for heroin. You were on H there. And so that explains what went wrong, I think. There we go. I think he's beating me. I think he's actually beating me. Because when I get to G, I have to move this pawn. And he, he has nothing on this file, which makes him Superman for one turn. This is stressful. He moved A. Should I just do this? I'm doing it. Ooh, maybe that wasn't smart. Can you imagine? Did Cheswiz make a move that wasn't smart? Worried eyebrows time. Hmm. Now he's just cheated. Interesting response. You are on B. Here's some time, Dr. Dopez. <laughs> okay, so now it's my turn for B. I'm going to push this pawn. And then, then you're on C, which means you'll probably just take that. So now I'm on C, which I'll go here for that move. This is spicy. I'm trying to focus. So you've got the gist of the variant. I mean, you pretty much see kind of how it works. There's a lot still to learn about it. For example, like how to make good moves. We haven't covered that yet. Let's go here. Run. Because that pawn was a real liability. Okay, so now we're on E. Nope, you can't do that. You can't do that because you are <laughs> Dr. Dopez, G.D. Gosley. What? That's my job. That's why I call myself the cheat whiz. Uh, you are on E. And then I'm going to move my E thing, which is probably this. Probably just take him. E. 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 I'm going to push. I have an idea. He's on F now. If I can block these F pawns and he has no other pawns, that's how he'll lose. So now I'm on F. So this will block him. So if he doesn't get something to this file, he's in emergency mode. He needs to get something there because that pawn can't move. Let's give him some Dopez time here. B, B Dopez, more, whoa, is he cheating again? Um, what, what, what? <laughs> we can't keep track. E, E. Yeah, let's, let's go back a little bit, buddy. Um, e, E, F. Yeah, you cheated with knight H3. Knight H3 was cheat. Did you ever realize that these people on the internet wouldn't be able to count with letters because it's totally happening right now this guy's cheating every other move okay try an f move here it's f time dr dopez let's give him some time here f is your move here yeah that's the problem e e f and knight h3 is not f i mean come on whoa <laughs> i don't trust this there we go it's f now I have to move F, so I'll just capture this F. Now he's on G, and I'm going to have to move this, which is stressful. I think I'll go one square, though. 
So confused. I've muted, I've muted your voice now. That's what happens to me constantly. I'm like, clean the kitchen. The kitchen is messy. Clean it. And then the response is, you have me so confused. I've muted your voice now. It's kind of depressing. Each time I have to go here or here. Go here. <gasps> this is another way to win. Look at this. It's his only G thing. He's going to lose. He's muted my voice too. So I can be like, hey guys, he's going to lose. It's A time. Let's just check him. So now B, but you can move anything. Now I'll move my C thing. Where are you now? So he can take my rook. No, you you have to skip. You have to skip. You have to skip it when you are in check. That's very important because otherwise the two players get out of sync. You got that? Great. So next episode, by the way, you can go to the website at uh, chesswiz.tv, something like that. Let's get everything off of let's get everything off of A and whatever. These these files? Yes. Now I have superman abilities for a long period of time. It's D time. He has the bishop he has to move. Poor guy, he has to like take my free stuff, but then I'm going to take his queen. But the real problem is over here. The real problem is this pawn. He's going to get to here, and he's going to lose. So that's that's pretty good for me. You move his D, so I move my D. I think I'll just take this queen for free. Pretty poetic. Oh, now he has nothing on E. <laughs> Why do I keep giving him Superman abilities? It's now my E time. Okay, I will move this. Ooh. I would be losing with these if he weren't losing right with this. You can't do that. You are on F, and then you will lose on G. Weird game. Winking face. The winking face is the most offensive face of all faces because I just have to move F now, which is this. And now you lose. Lose. I'm not going to say raffle. He could take that as slightly offensive. So this is a rated game also, so it's very important that he resigns. He resigns. Thank you. What did I just click? Did I just click like well played? Well, well played. I'll click that now. Good game. Well played. So if you go to the website, chesswiz.tv, you can see a picture of me, which is always a pleasant experience. And then at the top, you can read the next thing that's happening. Next variant, we're playing chess. It's slightly cut off, perhaps. It, it is a variant where any piece touching the king is considered royal. You know what royal means? If you lose it, you lose it. If you lose it, you lose. Did I get that right? So it's going to be pretty fun. And if you click calendar by, wait, go back. If you click calendar up here where it says calendar, you can see future episodes. We've planned out the whole month. So go there, click that, and be like, oh, I definitely don't want to see those episodes. This has been Chess with TV. Thanks for watching.